In this video, you will see all the paintings my grandma, Flossie, or as you know her, Art by Flossie, has created. The background will be a biography written by her son and narrated and edited by her grandson, Ninja Larry. This slideshow was created by her grandson, Ninja Larry, and the pictures were taken by the star of the channel herself. Like this video, subscribe, and enjoy. My name is Florence Alice Phelps, though I like to be called Flossie. I was born on the 5th of May, 1958, and named Florence Alice Brockway. My mother and father were divorced, having four children altogether. We were raised alone by my mother until she remarried and had three more children. As the oldest of seven children, I never really had much personal possessions. My natural father attempted to contact us later in life, but my mother blocked his attempts and we learned of them only after his passing. We moved very often, so stability was a stranger to me. As a young girl, I was very shy and remained very quiet for fear of any social interaction. My grades were average, but school in general never held my interest. I poured myself into music, art, and nature. I loved music and marching band. They will remain one of my most cherished school time memories. Art class, however, was an outlet for me to express how I felt without being guided by rules or regulations. My special love for art showed in my work and I was rewarded a grant to attend art school. With the thought of leaving my family, separation, and separation anxiety had a grasp on me and sadly, I declined. Straight out of high school, I met the love of my life, Larry Phelps, and we were married on Valentine's Day of 1977. We had two amazing children, Larry and Sherry. I tried working various jobs for several years, but I was never very comfortable taking orders. I was c content at home raising my children. We all loved to be outdoors, camping, playing paintball in the woods, or just soaking in the sun at the beach listening to the calming waves. The sound of seagulls will forever remind me of those happy times and will always bring a peaceful smile to my face. Through the busy years, I made art out of refi refinished homes, furniture, and old cars with my husband. I began sewing and making creative toys for my children. I also managed to make time for painting on wood, glass, and ceramic figurines. It wasn't until 2004 when the late Ken Wicker, my brother-in-law, took notice of some of my older paintings that I kept from high school. When he learned of my regret for not following my dreams of art school, he invited me to paint with a wonderful, su with a wonderful southern lady and, and art teacher, Mary Underwood. With my passion for painting rekindled, I have tried painting with oils, watercolors, acrylics, and pastels. I must say that I love pastels the most and wildcats are my absolute favorite subject. The more I learn, the more I realize how much there is to learn. I find myself observing every little detail in nature. My first award was in was for Thomas K a Thomas Kincaid King a Thomas Kincaid piece that took first place in acrylics. Sorry about that. Currently, I live on a small farm with chickens, ducks, cats, and dogs, and hopefully someday horses. I now have three beautiful grandchildren, and we love to create art together. My grandchildren are Larry, Josh, and Lizzie. I plan on many more pieces of art in the future. I have so many ideas, yet so little time. But one must remember to always take the time to live, love, and laugh. 